Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair. Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there. You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair. If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs. YouTube salute. When we talk about multi-geniuses in black history, we must mention Benjamin Banneker, a multi-genius, free black farmer, mathematician, astronomer, who was born November 9th, 1731, the son of free slaves, Robert and Mary Banneke, probably near the Patapsco River, southeast of Baltimore, Maryland, where his father owned a small farm. For some years, Benjamin seems to have served as an indentured laborer on the Prince George's County plantation of Mary Welsh, who had dealings with the Banneke family. And in 1773, she executed her husband instructions to release several of her labor force, including Benjamin, born free, age 43. At that time, she left Benjamin with substantial legacy and he lived alone as a tobacco for, um, farmer. From there, Banneker received only a brief education from a Quaker schoolmaster, but he showed an early talent for mathematics and construction at the age of 21. Banneker built a wooden clock and it just sh shaped and took off for his career from there. He read widely and recorded his researches. His skills drew him into contact with a wealthy white family, the Ellicotts, who had established flour mills and an iron laundry on the outskirts of Baltimore in the mid 1770s. So from there, in 1788, George Ellicott, he was an amateur astronomer. He um, needed Banneker help with books and his instruments to actually predict the solar eclipse. And at that time, Banneker he also assisted Andrew Ellicott in surveying the boundaries of the 10 mile square site of Washington, D.C., where we have now. And let me give you an example and um, something that a lot of people don't know about. Washington, D.C. is replicated from Egypt, Kemet, the same way how it's all shaped out there. Benjamin Benneker was so intelligent that he took his ancestors work the structures the designs and copy replicated and brought it out to the united states he made sure that the same type of designs and setups of certain monuments and statues is no lie no joke so from there Banneker, he he was just he was he created the almanac in the next five years. He also challenged Thomas Jefferson when he was a Secretary of State about black people being enslaved, and Jefferson saying that he's fighting for all lives and they want everybody in this country to be free, but at the same time you have black people enslaved. And Banneker, he was unapologetically black. He didn't hold nothing back. He wrote a letter to Jefferson and calling him out. And Jefferson actually ended up respectfully writing um, Banneker back and letting him know that he was going to forward the manuscript um, to the notice of the French Academy of Science, Sciences because he respected Banneker's work. And at the same time, he knew Banneker was telling the truth. Banneker, he died October 9th, 1806. And leading up to his death, he lived on the farm. He he um he only left behind, you know, writings, most about the things he accomplished in his journal. But He's one of the best American scientists of all time, and you can never take that away from the things he's done for this country. People are marginalized, undermine Banneker's work. 
they'll just say, oh, he's on a stamp or he did this or he did that. But Benjamin Banneker, when it comes to the blueprints, when you when it comes from like the construction as far as the the way the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. is laid out, he is responsible for that. And he deserves all recognition. So anytime you ever go to Washington, D.C. and you see the, the uh, White House, you see the Congress, how the way it's set up, and you see the, the, the uh, monuments, understand that was Benjamin Banneker. He did that. And also, if you ever go to Egypt and go to Giza and look at the pyramids or look at certain um, temples, understand that he took those ideas, the same ideas that the ancestors at that time created in Egypt, Kemet, and replicated that over here. So shout out to Benjamin Banneker. He's an ancestor. Post your comments below. Oak smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.